Hey everyone, it's me Gavin, and this will be a video on how to make your character open a door um, when it's closed without Python in the Blender game engine. And I'm just going to get started. So to start off, let's right click on this camera, hit X delete, and right click on this light, hit X delete. And right click on this cube in the middle, and let's turn this cube into a door by hitting S and Y to thin it out, and then S and X to scale it out, then S and Z to scale it up. Alright, once we have this, we want to grab, we want to go into edit mode like this, click on face select mode, and right click on this little thin strip right here, and let's do mesh, snap, and then cursor to selected. Go back into object mode and do object transform origin to 3D cursor. So this will make our door rotate like this. So hit R and Z and we can rotate our door like this. Alright, before we start animating our door though, what I'm going to do is click this orange cube right here and let's rename this cube to door like this. Let's drag this door up to about here. And what we are going to do is go into our animation mode right here. So go from defaults to animation. And we're going to hit 7 to go in the top view. I'm going to drag this up. And we're going to have our animation be fairly quick. So I'll have the start animation keyframe be 0, the end animation keyframe be 10, and the initial animation keyframe be 0 right here. And then with our door selected, let's do I and then lock rotation. Alright, on frame 0. And then on frame 10, we're going to rotate this door by hitting 7 to go on the top view. And then do R and Z. And let's rotate this door like this. And do I and then lock rotation. So we should see now, if we hit this back arrow, our door is going to open up like this. Now, okay. Now that we have this, what we're going to do is go into um, game logic view like this. And let's go from Blender Render to Blender Game like this. And our door is going to have a keyframe animation, um, or it's going to have an integer animate, um, a boolean, sorry. And this boolean will be open. And right now, if we don't have this checkbox clicked, it clicked, it'll be false. But what we are going to do is going to have a property um, sensor on this door. I'll call this property sensor open. Actually, I'll call it open door to avoid confusion with the script. Or not the script, but the, the game property. For the property, we're going to have open. And if the door property is equal to true like this, what's going to happen is we're going to have it so it's going to play that action, the open door. We're going to put the door action in here. And we want it to play from the 0 keyframe to the 10 keyframe. So from 0 to 10... All right, and on our door, what we're going to do is add a game property door. So this will identify it as a door inside of our game to other objects. And I just made it a boolean; you don't have to. All right, let's now make our player by doing spacebar and then add a cube. This cube will be dragged back and dragged this way, and dragged up. And what's going to happen is that if we are by this door right here, this particular door. Um, with our cube, or I'll just name him as player. Player like that. Um, what we're going to do is have if our player presses the keyboard sensor spacebar, so I'll just name this as space, and he is near the property door, so if our keyboard is, or if our player is near the door, where is the near sensor? Near right here, I'll just name this as near. And if he is near the property door, and I'll put a 3, 3 like this. What we're going to do is now shift and right click on our door with our cube selected. Add an AND controller on your player and connect those two sensors to it. And then on your door, let's add a property. And this property will be assign and we'll assign the open property on our door to true. All right, and connect that to your AND controller. All right, now if we hit these eyes right here and do game and then show debug properties, and we hit play, you should see that if we hit the spacebar sensor, it's not going to do anything. And that's because we need to right click on our door, and our door needs to be made an actor. 
And actually, I'll do game and then show physics visualization. So we can see we're in range, and we click, and that door will open now. All right. And if we were to drag this player out of range, so if we hit P now, we see he's not near the door. And he hit, tries to hit the space bar, it's not going to open. But if we drag the player closer and hit play, the door will open like this. And I'll just do game and then show you um, untoggle the physics visualization. And if we hit P, we can see it's going to look like this. Alright guys, that is how you um, open a door without Python in the Wonder Game Engine. I hope you guys find this very useful.